All right, we're with Sammy from Goat Whore. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Right on. Welcome to Heavy MTL. Yep, it's fun so far. Well, listen, I'm sure everyone's been talking to you about metals, uh, but but I overheard something. I think we should talk about pools here. You were you were a bit upset that there wasn't a kiddie pool waiting yeah, for you, right? Yeah, our trailer, we were, uh, we were told in our rider that we were supposed to have a kiddie pool filled with ice so we could have, hang out in and cool off. Then I think after our set around 7, they were going to refill it with jello and have young girls wrestle in it but apparently that's not happening today it wasn't in the budget let me ask you first of all um i've been asking a bunch of different bands there's always interesting names uh, uh, all the band names at uh, metal festivals are interesting where does uh, where does goat whore come from it's it's an alistair crowley uh, reference yes. yes it is an alistair crowley reference there was a ritual that he used to perform where he would make one of his uh, female companions have sex with numerous men, and at the climax of the ritual, she would have sex with a goat and try to make it ejaculate. And apparently, the goat semen is extremely powerful in supernatural situations. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to put this up on our site, but uh, it's always good to know. At least it was in, you know, it was in good terms. It yes, absolutely. Slang, so I could, you probably get away with it. <laughs>